Hey guys, welcome back and welcome back for new. I'm Megan from Organize Little Lady and today I'm going to share with you how I have organized my living room. So this is our main living room and when we first moved in, this was the only living space that we had. As you can see, it is on the smaller side so I wanted to be really intentional about how I set it up so that way it's functional yet still cozy. Let's talk about furniture in this room. We actually completely furnished this room when we first moved in, so it gave me a chance to really think about how I wanted to set the room up and the furniture that I was going to place in this room. So for the sofa and love seat set, I wanted something that was comfortable, but wasn't too big. I really didn't want something that was going to be too large and take up a lot of space in this room. So I chose this love seat and sofa set from Big Lots. I really like that it is is lightweight it is on the smaller side but it is very comfortable I knew that I wanted to add some end tables and a coffee table into our living room I really like the idea of having that surface space so that way guests can put their drinks down and I also thought that it would provide some extra storage in this room so when we moved into this house like I said we were furnishing pretty much every room and so it was very important for me to find aesthetically pleasing pieces of furniture, pieces of furniture that were functional and on a budget. So this set also came from Big Lots and we um, are very pleased with how it looks and how it functions. So as you can see, there is an opening at the bottom here and that provides for some extra storage. Under each end table, I have one of these storage cubes. This adds a lot of hidden storage. I can throw things in there and it's out of sight, out of mind. I actually typically though leave them empty so that way when I do not want to have my toss pillows on my sofa or love seat, I store them right in there. I love the idea of having these storage cubes as a part of my living room because they can also hold over 250 pounds on top of them. So if we have guests over and we need some additional seating, I pull these out and they act as extra seating. Under the coffee table, I have these birch logs. Now these logs actually came from a tree that fell down in our yard and I was so sad because it was one of my favorite trees that we had and my husband was able to cut some of the pieces up into logs and now we use them as decor pieces throughout our home. I also have this basket. I got the basket at Marshall's and it holds all of our throw blankets. So when we want to use them, it's easily accessible and then we can put them back when we're not using them and they're stored right under the coffee table. Moving over to the right hand side of our living room, we have this electric fireplace and I actually got this on Facebook Marketplace. It was $10 and I was really happy to add this into our living room for this winter because it adds such a warm aesthetic into our space. Um, we do have an open concept living room, so sometimes it does get drafty in here, and this does have a heater on it, so it also functions as additional heat, although I mainly use it just for aesthetic reasons, and I really do love the way that, like I said, it adds that warmth into this room. Over here, we have our TV and our TV stand. Now, as you can see, the TV is up against this half wall here, so I knew that I needed to find a low profile TV stand. And this one is so beautiful. I love the feet on it. I love the look of it. It's very classic. It will go with any decor. And it also provides for a lot of extra storage. Over here on the left-hand side of the cabinet, I have some DVDs and in the acrylic box, I keep some photo flip books. They fit really well in that acrylic box and they just stay a little bit neater in there. On the bottom shelf, we have some magazines. Now, this is the only place that I keep magazines in our entire house. So if we run out of space in this cabinet, then I know I need to go through my magazines and purge the ones that I no longer want to keep. So that way I only have the magazines on hand that I know I want to keep and go through. In these two bins, I keep just random electronic items. So on the left-hand side, we have our Nintendo Switch case and a few games. And then on the right-hand side, we have just chargers and headphones and miscellaneous electronic items. In this right-hand cabinet, we actually don't keep anything. You can kind of see on the top there that this cabinet is broken. So um, it's actually kind of a heavy door and if we keep things in there, it's just going to keep falling off. So we don't keep anything in there because we don't want anyone opening it. So there is nothing on this side as of now until we can fix this cabinet door. Moving over here on this side of the living room, I have this console table. 
So this console table does match our end tables and coffee table, and it's more of a decorative element here in our living room. I use it mostly for decorative purposes. However, I do have another one of these storage cubes on the bottom, and this is what I like to call a clutter catcher. I highly recommend having a clutter catcher in the main areas of your home. The purpose of this is to have a place that can hide all of the clutter that gets thrown about throughout the day. And then at the end of the day, you just take 10 minutes and put everything back where it belongs. It does a great job at keeping my living spaces tidy on a regular basis. It's also the same storage bins that are under the end tables. So if we do need additional seating, I can use this as a seat also. As you can see, our living room is open to our kitchen and dining room. And over here on this wall, we have Maisie's bed that she obviously loves to lay in and lounge in. And then we have these two shelves here. When I was decorating our living room, I was very careful not to add too much wall decor. If you're decorating a smaller room, too much wall decor can make your room feel cluttered and just smaller in general. So I did not wanna add a lot of wall decor in this room, but I love having these shelves here. It's really easy to swap out the decor on the shelves to get a different look. And I love switching it out from season to season or for holidays, especially Christmas time. Over in this corner, we do have another shelving unit. So we added this shelving unit to our living room because we needed a place to house these two items on the bottom. One is our internet modem, and I'm not exactly sure what the other box is for. Maybe it has something to do with our cable. I don't know, that's kind of my husband's gig. But anyways, we needed something that would keep these off the ground just for ventilation purposes, and it helps with dust and whatnot. So um, this shelving unit was purchased from, I believe, Amazon, and it works great because it keeps those items off the ground. Um, and then it's neat because the way that our furniture is laid out, you actually can't see the bottom shelf when you first walk in you can only see the top two shelves so I have that more decorated and it adds a bit of coziness into this room um, fun story about that it's so good to be home sign I actually purchased that sign the day that our offer was accepted for this house um, my husband and I said for years that we were just searching for our home we just didn't feel like our previous home was really home to us and as soon as we saw this house we just instantly felt at home here so I purchased that sign knowing that I wanted it in our home and we actually used that sign to take a picture with our family um, in front of our house the day that we closed on it so it has some sentimental value to us and um, it's just a pretty sign also and then in that basket on the second shelf that's where we keep all of our remotes so that's a look at how I have organized and decorated our living room. It's very functional for us. It's very cozy, but yet it feels spacious and like we can enjoy this space because it's not cluttered with a bunch of stuff. We just keep what we use in this room and nothing extra. Please let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions about how I've organized my living room. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys. Thank <laughs> you.